Can you describe to me uh, about what I told you off camera about a mom who's being charged with murder and manslaughter involved in um, the death of her six-year-old child? Um, it's a horrific story and um, it's a horrific case. I have a six-year-old myself and I can't believe that this mother was taking that six-year-old, tying up the baby up in a closet and we don't know how long this has been going on. And that, it must have been terrifying for this child's life. And, um, you know, it's, I just feel so bad. That lady should have reached out and um, got some help. This didn't have to happen. I don't know how this went, how this happened. The kid is six years old, nobody asked no questions. We don't, we don't, we don't know, you know, we don't know the entire story, but this should have never happened, you know? Uh, do you think ACF should have been more involved if they had any speculation of child abuse? Uh, abuse? Yes, ACS should have been. ACS should have been involved, and um, you know, if they had any speculation that there was any type of abuse going on, you know, they should have intervened. Um, I don't know how uh, child protective services was. Um, you know, how nobody teaches nothing. Uh, family members. This, this couldn't have been an overnight thing. It had to be something that's been going on for some time. I don't know, you know, I, I can't be 100% sure, but I'm sure this wasn't an overnight thing. People don't just wake up and start doing weird stuff like that. So somebody should have been involved. Yes. Um, do you have a message for parents out there who may be struggling? There's no roadmap. There's no, there's no booklet on how to be a parent. You know, you just be the best parent that you can be to your kids. It's not about you, it's about your kids. They're here, they didn't ask to be here. And, um, you know, if you need some help, reach out. There's plenty of programs in the Bronx. There's, you know, there's uh, stepbrother, step, stepsister programs. There's stepparent programs. You got ACS, you know, worst came to the worst. I don't believe in that program. I don't believe in ACS. I believe that family should step in to help. It takes a community to, to raise, you know, a, 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 a child. And um, just reach out for some help. Don't, you're not alone. There's um, 411 you could call. You know, they, they handle stress related issues and um you know just 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 try to get some help you know you're not alone that's what i want to tell you parents and i know it's a lot especially raising kids in this economic crisis that we're going through you're not alone you know um you know there's a whole social dynamics that i could go through right now but you know you're not alone reach out to the dad's family your family you know try to try to get some help you're not alone in this you know and you know, worst come to worst, drop the baby off at the priest, at least the baby's alive, you know? Drop him off at the hospital and say, yeah, I just can't do it no more. At least it gives the child uh, 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 option to be alive, you know? It's, you know it's, this, is, this is so sad, but it's not easy. And yes, it's, it gets frustrating, but they're kids and they didn't ask to be here. They did not ask to be here. You have to be, you have to, you know, you have to have that patience. And if you don't have that patience, admit you don't have that patience and pass the kids off to somewhere with Maybe somebody could take them. They don't deserve to be abused, cursed at. Um, you know, and, and this didn't have to happen. Yes, thank you, Chris. Anything else you'd like to share with me? Uh, yeah, y'all be safe out there. Make sure you call it. Make sure you call and check on your peoples. Like I say in every closing, call and check on your peoples. Make sure your peoples are all right. It's very important. A phone call could change somebody's life. You know? Thank you. Yes, thank you for your time. You're welcome.